What's up YouTube? My name's Quickie, welcome back to the channel. Sorry, I'm just, I'm having a break today. <laughs> um, right, so, the back brake, essentially this one was all fully serviced, new kits, everything cleaned, new pads, blah de blah de blah, and then he went and snapped off a part of the casting here where the bleed nipple goes in, which is a bit of a pain. So basically the service kit is coming out of that one and going into this one. I just need to get this one looking a bit nicer first because um, it is a bit manky at the minute. Um, so essentially we're going to switch the kits over. This is going to get painted. I'm probably going to use that arm off that. Yeah, this bit, just because it saves me painting that bit. And I'll just I'll just paint this and I'll swap the pistons over and blah, 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 blah. So that'll all be good. The uh, front brakes, I'm not going to bother painting them. There is no point. Um, I want to get some, because it's got those rusty bolts on and I don't like it. So I'm going to get some new bolts, some new pins and a service kit for it. Um, and then at some point in the future, I'll just, you know, I'll split the calipers, do the job properly, paint them and put them back together again. So this is just get me on the road, do it quickly, so I can have a go. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing. So most of this is, well, it's not junk, I'm going to keep it. Um, it's really just this bit. Right, let's um, get those nipples out. Right. Oh, that's nice and warm. <laughs> this is just a citric acid bath. So, um, just water and citric acid crystals. Got a little aquarium heater in there as well, just to keep it warm. Uh, and an aquarium pump down here. So you see it's just pumping, pumping. it just keeps everything moving about basically. And I'm trying to clean it out. bone much. How are we doing? Well, there's loads of crud coming out. Loads of it. And I can see shiny bits in there as well. That side of the tank is mega. I'll get a picture of this and show you. definitely working, definitely working. Um, it's just annoying that I haven't got a tank big enough to submerge the whole damn thing. Let's move this pump around. These calipers are going back together as is. These the old nasty pads. Won't be using them. I might be using the springs though. Um, we give these a clean up because they're absolutely fine. Um, I've got some new springs in here, um, which uh, sort of all genuine parts and stuff anyway. So, um, but I'm probably not going to fit them until I do the like the proper rebuild. I, I'm going to get a service kit, I'm going to split these, get them painted, I want to replace these bolts because they're, obviously you can see they're rusted, and I just don't like it. So they'll do for now, uh, I'm not going to bother painting them, we'll do all that when we split them and service them because they do work absolutely fine, there's no worries there at all. So let's give these a quick whiz. Might as well give the screws a clean as well. Um, how we can get those chains? Are these the pads for it? Yes. Right, let's put them somewhere safe. Right, and so they're all clean, which is good. There we go. Right, that's... Um,
Right, so this is apparently quite the common upgrade. Um, I've got the calipers all built up, so that's all fine. Uh, first thing is, that hole is for an M10, these are an M8. <laughs> so I'm going to want to put some sort of sleeve in there, just to try and take up uh, the gap. But then I'm also thinking that when these are on the disc, and hard up against that mating surface there, the caliper is slightly offset. It wants a couple of mil. Basically, I want to move it like that. So, what we're probably going to end up doing is machining some um, some top hats to go in here. So it'll be a, uh, like a, a thick washer on this side. You know, probably like a couple of mil, and then a sleeve that comes up through here that will be a mil wall thickness to take up that extra gap, and it'll be just short of this surface that the cap head sits down in. That way nothing is going to wobble about and everything is going to line up. So that's probably quite a quick and easy little um, lathe project. Um, if I can find a piece of stainless, I'll do it in stainless, otherwise it will just be alley, which will be fine. Um, and they'll basically they're just feed in from the back here, so it's not like you're going to be mucking about with washers and all that sort of stuff. So that will be that. That's those two done. Well, once I get my spaces. Um, I've got all my banjo sorted. I've got my braided lines up there. So then it's literally just a case of sticking it all together and bleeding it. I do need to get another seven mil bleed nipple for this caliper because it ain't got one and neither have I. So I'll have to get that sorted. Um, but yeah, I think just bleed it up and we should be good. Stick a lever on it, that'll help. Right, let's have a look at the back brake. Right, this thing is just being a complete pain. Um, managed to get one of the pistons moving. I haven't had it all the way out because I'm trying to use compressed air to get this one out, but he is stuck fast. Um, I've been doubting it with WD-40, that's fine. Jamie showed me a trick where you can shove a socket um, inside the piston and then shove the ratchet in the side and basically turn it, try and get the thing to rotate. He really doesn't want to do that either. That is a proper pain. Um, if I could just get it to rotate even just a little bit, you know, get it to sort of like the 180 mark. And when you should, from what he was saying, be able to wind it out. Or at least then, you know, it would have broken the seal so you can use compressed air, but he's, he's jammed in there proper good. Um, what I might be doing is blocking all this up. I'll shove a piece of alley down there. Um, I might even get a grease gun on it. Oh, I, oh, actually, I wonder if my old gun would do it. Let's give that a bash. But it's probably just going to pee out the top of this bleed nipple, but we shall have a go. Um, he's bunged up. Right. Right, this is proving to be just the biggest pain ever. Ever. <laughs> um, this, is, this is an old um, caliper that came off eBay. The pistons on it is knackered. Um, and they were both basically stuck in. This one we've managed to free up. Um, and we've been able to pump it out with compressed air. And by doing the socket and the ratchet trick, just get it to spin get it loose and then, you know, compressed air on it's popped up. This one on the other hand, he's, he's not playing ball. He is properly wedged in there. I think what has happened is that the seals that's in here has, has rolled. Um, so you now try to squish a seal in a stupidly small gap. Um, you, like with the socket and the ratchet thing, you can get it to move just a little bit, but it's only a little bit. So all I've done is I've Pumped it full of WD-40, all the nipples is in, there's a bolt where the banjo goes to seal all that stuff up. And it's just this side is getting squirted down as well. I'm just trying to get something in the gap so I can do the socket trick and get it moving and then hopefully I'll be able to get it out of compressed air. But he needs to come out so I can paint the whole thing and then I can rob this one, you know, this broken one where the, the nipples, the castings broke where the nipple goes in. I'll have all the service kit off that, stick it on this one, and, you know, jobs are good. But, 
he needs to come out. All right, Jamie knit down as well today, which was kind of cool. Um, just to see how we're getting on, basically. We have been monkeying about with these gauges, trying to get it set up right. It weren't far off, actually. It wasn't far off. Um, but we did end up playing about with the uh, pilot jets, yeah, the pilot screw. Um, just to try and get things to run a little bit happier. Um, we know we've got some issues that we think we need to go up on the pilots. Um, and we know we need to go up on the mains as well. Um, so we're going to do a bit of Googling and see what we can come up with and what the recommended ones are. Uh, and then see if there's any, you know, data on the, um, the Micron website for this exhaust with this belt. There probably ain't going to be because this is back in the day, isn't it? But we're going to go around and have a look, see, try and get it as close as we can do before we take it to dyno. Um, come on. Go on. Go on. There we go. Right, so they're on, just so I don't lose them. These gauges are dead finicky, though. Like, properly finicky. <laughs> All right, how long's this bit? Oh, that'll do. Happy days. Right, so I've got a little bit of material here. Sorry, today is Wednesday. The week is flying past. We'll get to why in a second. <laughs> well, I haven't really had a chance to get much done. Um, got some material here, which I can use to do those little um, adapters for the... Uh, front brake calipers. So I've done a little drawing here. I will put a picture up so you can see. It's just like a top out spacer basically. And it will go in from the back. So you're not even really gonna see it really, but it'll it'll do the do, it'll, it'll get it done. And I can get those front brakes mounted. Um, in other news, Sam, when she came back from holiday, she did get me a little present. It's a belt, doesn't fit because I'm either too fat or she got the wrong size. <laughs> So Jake's got a lovely belt. Um, she also picked herself up a little something as well. Yeah, COVID. <laughs> She's got COVID. We've had, we've had three jabs, I think it is. Yeah, three jabs. And she was dead careful with wearing a mask and everything else, but sitting on an airplane and going through the airport and all that, she's obviously picked it up from someone. So yeah, she's got COVID. She's really not having a very good time of it either. She's... Um, she is properly poorly. It is like full bone flu nasty. I'm sure quite a few of you have had it. Um, but she feels horrible. So, you know, time is getting away from me, basically. Um, but that said, we are cracking on with this. So, um, I've been having a go at this rear brake um, caliper and he's just proving troublesome. It's never been on the bike. Um, I can get the, the big piston out. Can't get the little piston out. He's pretty much wedged. I've tried sticking a high pressure grease gun on it and various other bits and pieces. It's not happening, so I'm just gonna hook it back up to the um, the rear brake hose. We'll do them all, you know, do everything up, put some fluids in it and see if we can't just pump it out that way. Which, you know, it should work, it should be all right, but we shall see. Right, it can come out. All right, we can't do that. Because the master cylinder's knackered. <laughs> Hooked it all up, put all the lines on, new crush washers, everything else. Filled it full of fluids. Started using the pedal and nothing's happening because it's knackered. Um, where are you? I'll see if I can do the zoomy thing. But that is pretty much toast. Um, Jamie did, like in the box of bits from Jamie, there was this uh, master cylinder repair kit. I don't know if it's for a rear brake. It looks like it could be. I've got a sneaky feeling it's for a clutch though. Um, so we just have to have it apart and see what's what. Right. I'm having no luck today. <laughs> no luck at all. Um, this is the rear brake master cylinder. And it is jammed in there. That other service kit that I've got, that's for a front brake master cylinder, so that's no good. Um, 
Trouble is, all the piston assembly is absolutely jammed in there. I can't get it out at all. I'll try compressed air down the end. I've had WD and you know everything down either end. I've had a, um, a grease gun on it, trying to force it out that way. It's not having it. It is properly jammed in there. Um, I mean, it's not going to be expensive, and I would just go and get another one. You know, probably 30 quid to get you one of them. Um, trouble is, they don't do this part anymore. I have had a look on eBay, there's none available. Um, the D model is different. I think the mounting holes is different, and the feed for the reservoir comes out the side. That's all different, and the banjo goes on top. Um, as long as it worked and I could make it fit, I would quite happily go for it, but I don't know if that's a, a swap that can be made, and I don't know what else could go on this bike and work properly. You can get service kits for these, obviously, but it's got the plungers and springs and seals and all that sort of stuff, but you still got to get the bugger out, haven't you? Um, I could shove it in the mill and try drilling it, which would be dodgy. So I don't want to mark up this inside surface. Um, maybe if I could weaken that cap enough, you know, the plunger in there, then I might be able to fish it out. But I don't want to mar up this surface because otherwise it's just going to leak, isn't it? Uh, what to do? Heat normally helps. Let's try heating it up. Right, I am getting nowhere really quickly with this. And it's stupid little bloody things as well. Um, the master cylinder, I've just got them set up in a vault. Heat did nothing. Well, it warmed it up a bit. <laughs> but that's it, nothing shifted. Um, so he's now sitting in a vice. He's full up with WD-40, but I'm going to have to chip off in a minute because I've got to go to my work. So I'm just going to leave it soaking. I'll come back tomorrow and see if it's helped at all. I don't think it will have, um, but we'll give that a bash. Um, but I can't get the, the piston out the rear caliper until he's sorted, and that way I can pump it out hydraulically as long as the seals on the, on the caliper is okay. It's just a nightmare. I don't know if there's a replacement that you can get, you know, off some other model that fits. The D model is different, I know that. Um, the whole spacing on that is 44 mil. Um, but I don't know if, you know, you, it's just, it's no longer available and I can't see one on eBay. And even if I did get one on eBay, that's probably going to be minging as well. Um, plus I need to get a service kit too. Um, so, well, I need a service kit anyway, regardless. Um, so I might do that, I don't know. Um... I'm just, I'm running out of options, basically. But the only thing I can do at the minute is machine up the spaces for the front and get all the front calipers on and space nicely, get all that hooked up and bleed that. And I can also do the clutch, as long as that master cylinder's okay, which I'm hoping it's gonna be. But we'll find out. That'll be fine, that'll be fine. <laughs> um, don't know how long this video is. Um, if it's up to about the 25 minute marker, I'm just gonna stick all this lot together and publish the video. Otherwise, we'll be having another go tomorrow. Um, I'm thinking what I might try doing if the oil in that doesn't work. I mean, one option would be to put a plate across the top uh, with a clearance hole, and then I'll drill and tap. Um, well, I'll try drilling and tapping the plunger. I mean, just the act of drilling it might spin it free. I don't know. Um, but if it doesn't, then I can wind a bolt into it, which will hit on that plate at the top and maybe draw it out that way. I don't know, we're just going to have to have a go. <laughs> and I'm so close to getting it done. But it's these stupid little bloody problems that keep tripping you up, isn't it? But anyway, this might be the end of the video. And if it is, I do hope you're well and staying safe. Otherwise, I'll see you in a minute. <laughs>